Happy New Year, guys. Thank you for hanging on and sticking with me from last year. I've been on YouTube for a couple of months. So from when I started out up until this time, thank you guys so much for the love, the support. I really appreciate. And to my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Okay, I, I was going to be saying welcome to the family thing. But yeah, welcome, guys. So based on popular demand we will be talking about something something that everybody wants to know about something that apparently almost everyone on my instagram wants to know about this topic so but first of all so my name is tammy and this is my channel and I usually talk about study abroad, career, education, living abroad. But apparently people I think um, made it clear that they want me to add a whole lot of lifestyle. So I'm going to be editing this channel and I'm going to be adding lifestyle. So <laughs> welcome to the lifestyle segment of this channel. But anyways, so let's get down to the business. So on today's uh, video, we'll be talking about how I met Alasleeve, your famous Alasleeve. <laughs> it's very funny whenever I say that because according to my mom, they don't reach uh, native doctors in their village. So you know, based on how our relationship is right now, it's more like mm, you're famous. Oh, you're a celebrity. Oh, everybody knows you. Oh, you know that kind of thing. But anyways, now I'm going to tell you guys how that happened. So I don't know if. She would say my story is not true, but I mean, I think I, I'm like the one who has the major part of the story to say. I think she would say her own part sometime. And if she does, of course, I'm going to bring it on here for you guys. So I don't want to make this video really long. So let me try to make it as short as possible. So um, I've been following all this lame on Instagram. Well, I started following her on Instagram while I was in my first year in undergrad and this was in 2013 so along the line same 2013 i saw her style like i still remember i think she was working in in i'm not gonna call the name of the companies though but she was working at a certain company and then i remember one post that she made about going for a job interview and all that well she did get that job as well so um anyways i was following her i liked her style you know and I felt like, oh, I mean, I could emulate a couple of all the stuff because, oh, she looks like me, if that makes sense. Like, um, she's a young girl. She's like me. I could emulate a couple of stuff from her, like, style-wise. So, yeah, I think that was it. So I sent her a DM on Instagram. And I'm like, I was trying to look for the DM. But, hello, what do you expect? It's like, what, seven years or more? And uh, I think, no. I think it's been it's been six or seven years so i couldn't find that in our chat because i couldn't go all the way so yeah i sent her the message and i was like hi my name is tammy and i really like your style i like you and i'd like us to be friends these are not the exact words but these are basically like the major stuff and i was like here's my number it would be nice for us to get to know each other you know and then i put like hashtag no homo <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Hashtag no homo, God, I, I still remember that statement, like that very hashtag, because thinking about it now is very embarrassing. But yeah, I had to put that because I didn't want anyone thinking like, oh, you're hitting on me sort of thing and, you know, would ruin the chances. So I did that and I sent the message. Now, at this time, I think maybe she was like on 10K or 5K followers and me, I was like maybe 20 followers or is it? i don't think i was even up to 100 followers or something like that so i sort of saw her as oh you're popular you might not respond to my messages so i left there and i continued living my normal life and then that same day like no jokes that same day at night someone calls and it's like hi tammy my name is ola slim and i was like what <laughs> But yeah, like I was so, 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 so excited. And she's like, hi, I saw your message and I decided to drop your call. You know, she be very articulate, speak your English for me. Now we speak rubbish English. God, she finished. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, like that was it. And she was like, 
uh, I, I saw your message and said to drop you a call and everything and it was like oh yeah it was it was actually nice she teased me a little bit and yeah I mean I already knew she was living in Lagos at the time I was schooling in Port Harcourt and living in Port Harcourt so um yeah I think that was what we said or that was like the conversation and I still remember very well that uh I was dating someone at the time who was living in another city so I told her stuff like oh like uh I really like to travel to like Lagos or something but um I can't travel my parents wouldn't let me I was the only level Jesus Christ <laughs> and she's like ah don't worry you're still very young very soon you'll be the one traveling around like going to see boys and all of all these things and you won't even be looking for permission and I was like uh I don't know about that I was really a good girl like you sports me you sports me <laughs> but yes that was what she said and then we laughed over it and that was it like we started chatting but not so much actually like so it's not like it just bloomed into an amazing friendship or something so we used to chat a bit chat a few times and stuff like that and then fast forward to i think end of that same year she came to Port Harcourt to visit her family her family was living in Port Harcourt at the time and i asked if we could see but she was such a busy person i mean she's still a very busy person so she it was more like before she could respond to my messages or whatnot or something like that she had already left or it was just remaining one day and we actually were not able to see for and then another time when you know i became a big girl you know like 300 level and i went to lagos to visit a boy a man or whatever <laughs> male special. um i remember trying to see her as well but she was also very busy so we actually never really got to see first year second year third year we never saw each other uh well that relationship ended she really helped me through that one and i think we started getting really close then uh like we started getting closer and um so now let's fast forward to how we finally met physically now we've been friends or we've been chatmates or pals whatever you want to call that pen pals for years and then 2018, I was serving in Lagos and um, yeah, the place I was serving, they actually gave me an apartment um, close to my workplace. So I basically had to just walk to the office or take a longer route that was just going to cost me about 15 hour by bus to that place. So that very day, I took that other route. I think that was like the first or the second time I was taking that route. And I took that other route that I had to pay like 50 naira. I took that route. I got to the uh, junction and I was working, like working to get a tricycle keke that was going to take me to the estate gate. Now, I think it's safe for me to say the name of the estate because like um, she, she's, she's not there anymore. So this was like at Agungi. And then, yeah, so at that very agungi junction like close to the dominoes if you guys know if you guys are familiar with that area and then i was just standing there waiting to get uh a keke when someone in a taxi called my name like someone in a car passed and called my name and i turned like who would know me here that sort of thing and then the taxi stopped so I walked towards the side, towards the taxi, and guess who was in that taxi? It was you or lastly, like it was, I didn't even believe my eyes because that was the first time I was seeing her in how many years? I said we started talking in 2013. So this was five years later, <laughs> no jokes. So I was like, what? And she was really, really sick that day. She was very down with malaria and she couldn't talk so much. So she was like, hi, Tammy. Okay, where are you going to? Can I drop you off? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, of course. Of course. <laughs> Thinking about it, that was very funny. But then I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it's you. I just want to hug you. But she was so sick. I was like, I want to hug you a million and one times, but you're so sick. I'm so sorry. And then she's like, it's okay. It's okay. You know, acting like a saint. <laughs> Anyways, I told her, okay, I was going to drop in front and then we get to this estate gate that happens to be my estate gate. And she's like, have we gotten to your stop? I'm like, oh, I actually live inside this estate. And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I live in, in this estate too. I was like, huh? And then we started going and then she took another turn and she's like, 
uh, why is this stop? And I'm like, this symptom. And she's like, huh? This symptom? I'm like, yeah. And then, um, well, don't worry. She, she didn't live on my street, but she lived the street before my street. And then she turned to another street and she's like, oh, so this is where I live. And I'm like, oh my God, I live on the next street. But anyway, since you're sick, I could help you like take stuff out of the car. Like, let me just assist you. I think that was what I said. I can't even really remember, but I know very well that I didn't go home directly. So I got to her place and helped her get stuff out of the car. And she was really, really down and it was so sad. And then, um, but being the hospitable and beautiful and lovely person that she is, she was, because now she's mean to me. She, I remember her asking if I wanted to eat and I was like, no, 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 it's fine. I was going to go home and then she said, um, no, okay, at least if you're not going to eat, like, at least take one meat out of the stew. <laughs> and I still remember her giving me turkey from her famous fish stew, oh my God. <laughs> I still remember her giving me turkey from the stew and she's like, okay, you can just at least eat something. Let it be that you ate something. And I'm like, ah, okay, no problem. So I ate that and then, um... I think I went home. Yeah, I think I, I then went home, dropped my stuff, and then I told her, oh, I was free for the rest of the day, something like that. I can't even remember. It's so blur. I don't know why it's so blur. It's just 2018. But I, I went home, and then I came back to meet her because it was just the next street. I went home, dropped my stuff, changed up. I came back to meet her. She was about to travel to Dubai. I remember clearly because this was in April. Or end of March this was end of March um, yeah I think this was end of March or this was April she was about to go to Dubai at the time so she was very sick and she had to pack so I came back um, helped her do the dishes and then I started helping her to pack her stuff now I helped her to pack up until I think it was ninth. yes and she didn't let me go back then and then she's like oh you can sleep here I will drop you off in the morning and you'll go to work because I was just like, oh, I needed to change up for work and everything. She's like, no, you can just sleep here. Like you've really, really been helpful to me. And then you would, you know, go to work the next day. And that was pretty much what happened. I helped her pack. I slept over at her place first thing in the morning because she had to leave for the airport really early. So the same cab guy that I was going to take her to the airport just took, drove me to my apartment and then... I, of course, go ready for work and everything, and she left. Now, after then, she came back from Dubai, and she bought me a couple of gifts, and we started spending a lot of time together, from spending one night to two nights to three nights, to literally moving in together. And <clears throat> that was how we started living together. And, well, like they say, the rest is history, and that's it. It's been how many years today? It's been seven, eight years since, seven years since we met and, or since we started talking and it's been two years since we met and I don't know, but I'm not going to try to be emotional again because I was really emotional how it was, so I'm not going to do that with this video. But that's pretty much how we met and if you guys know me, if you really know me, you know that I'm the queen of shoot your shot, beat female, beat male, girl, shoot your shot because you really never know who that amazing person is on your social media that would blossom into an amazing relationship or wonderful relationship or friendship you just never know so don't feel intimidated i mean i would have been intimidated like oh look she's working class i'm just in 100 level she dresses so nice i don't even think i dress nice i, do, I wasn't even doing makeup at the time like i think that was when i just started learning how to do makeup or just you know trying to be a big girl so yeah but i'm really happy i took that bold step because now she cannot live without me hello have you met me <laughs> now she cannot live without me yeah i can't say that with my chest because she can't she can't she would not dare she wouldn't dare but yeah that's the story of how we met and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys are going to take that bold step to start a friendship start a relationship with someone you think is gonna be good for you and of course if it's it's it, it's not supposed to be forced anyway even though it's, it might not be as easy because at some point i felt like ah because she's a very busy person she doesn't want to talk to me you know maybe i'm not her class or something i don't know if i really said that but yeah at some point it looked like we're, we're never gonna see and how we actually saw was just not planned at all like 
nobody even thought we we're going to meet that day and i don't even know if that day never happened i don't think we would have seen or would have been this way now she's not just a friend she's a sister and i'm officially saying this she's also your best friend <laughs> she would kill me you're not my only best friend now you guys are two my other best friend might be sad but now i have two best friends ha and ha <laughs> But anyways guys, I don't even know like but that's the end of this video. Like let's really come to the end of this video. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, happy new year. I wish you guys all the best this amazing year. Hello.